Hello, my name is Mr. Mohammed. Today we are going to be using Google Search. We're going to practice looking up information using Google Search. There are a number of keywords in this video. Some you might be familiar with, some maybe not, but we'll be covering these terms shortly. You might be familiar with what a web page is. It's anything that is underneath the Omnibox over here. So it's just containing website content. Some searched, uh, some, some keywords you might not necessarily be familiar with, but we will be covering this shortly. So what can you search for using Google? Well, according to Google, you can search for absolutely anything. I'm sure there are exceptions to the rule, but again, you can search for absolutely anything and you can even ask Google search a question. So every time you search, there are thousands, sometimes millions of web pages with helpful information for you. So we're going to try and attune ourselves to Google search and try and find that helpful information to help us with our studies. So how does Google organize information? Now, you don't necessarily need to know this, but I think it's quite interesting. Uh, Google organizes information about web pages into what's called a search index and a search index is very much like a library it's organized in particular ways such as categories or alphabetical order so if you ever look at this gif over here you'll see that the google search is organized things into categories so music cinema arts are organized into one category cats and dogs are organized into what might be called pets science but they're all related somehow. And that's how Google categorizes everything into a search index. So it's just much easier to look up information. So how quickly does Google find information? In a fraction of a second. And it remember, everything's sorted into a search index. And because of how organized it is, it can do so very, very quickly. So it can be quite useful for looking up information in a matter of less than a second. So that's how quickly Google functions. So what are the two main ways to search for information on Google? So if you're using the browser, there is a box right at the top highlighted here. It's what's called the Omni box. And it's called the Omnibox because you can search for information on here. You can type in website URLs. Website URLs are very much like codes to indicate what websites are what. So Google URL is google.co.uk. Any other website like Amazon could be amazon.co.uk. It's anything that has triple W dot followed by the website's name followed by .co.uk or even .com. So the Omnibox has lots of useful features and that's what we're going to be using to search for Google today. You also might be familiar with the search bar on the actual web page. Remember the web page is anything underneath the Omnibox. So you might want to use the search bar to search for information as well. They do the exact same thing but one is always there for you, whereas one is you have to go to the actual Google website. So what I'd like you to do for the next few minutes, I'd, just, I'd like you to pause this video and actually give Google search a try. I'd like you to open a new tab and then I'd like you to click on the Omnibox and begin searching for Google. And I'd like you to search for something that is appropriate and something that could help you understand how the Google search function works. I'm sure you've done a bit of Googling before. Googling is just a colloquial term to say that you've looked up information using the Google website. But I'd like you to try Googling some, some uh, Googling for, remember, anything. So here are some examples. You might want to Google full capital of the world. You might want to Google how to bake a cake. And remember, you can ask Google a question. So maybe how long would it take for me to reach Egypt? That's a, a good question to ask. So pause the video now, open a new tab on the Omnibox, 
I'd like you to click on it and then I'd like you to enter a few search terms. Once you've done that and then you've got the basic grasp of how to use Google search, I'd like you to pull, uh, unpause this video and carry on. So if you're watching this part of the video, you have carried out the activity beforehand, which was to do a bit of a Google search. Now you might have noticed that Google search in school is where I'm hoping that you completed this exercise, is that the safe search button is on by default on Durston House school machines. So if you're using a laptop, if you're using a tablet, if you're using a PC, all the machines by default have safe search on and this is to ensure that you are kept safe and all the harmful content of the website is filtered away so you have access to the safest content on Google so that's one way we can say stay safe on Google search but this is on by default at Durston House School at home it might be a bit different so at home check if it is on or if it is off you might want to switch it on just to keep yourself safe and your family safe. If it's not on, you might want to ask a parent to help you out with this. Other ways you can keep yourself safe on Google search is to access trusted content. Now, this one's quite tricky because it's not always clear what content on the internet is trusted, but there are ways to find out there might be a green tick next to a website that says that this is trusted content. If you're not sure if a website you are hoping to access is safe, don't click on it. Just find another website and look up for information elsewhere. There's lots of plenty, there are plenty of safe websites to access. Remember, if the safe search is on, all content on Google should be be safe but just to make sure if you're not sure don't access the website Alrighty. in the event that you find content that makes you feel uncomfortable please inform a trusted adult as soon as possible now a trusted adults it could be anyone at school a trusted adult could be your teacher it could be another member of staff like a, a teaching assistant it could be a, someone who's working in the office, it could be um, the head of junior school, but outside of school it could be a parent, it could be maybe a police officer or a care worker. But if anything online makes you feel uncomfortable and you want to talk to someone about it or you want to report it, please speak to a trusted adult as soon as possible. So these are the, the ways that we can stay safe using Google search. So remember how I told you about trusted content and what have you. There are various websites where we can find reliable information. The, the main websites we can rely, to, uh, rely on to give us reliable information are what we call official sources. So this could be government, the police, etc. So these institutions can be trusted to give us helpful and reliable information advice and or information so if you see a website with a gov.uk url it's most likely going to be free but again there are some websites that pose as gov.uk so be careful when clicking on them these websites are called phishing scams uh, so do be careful of those but we're going to cover that hopefully some other time where else can you find reliable information? If you're at school or a teacher, uh, maybe your school teacher might give you some reliable information through Google search. Usually this information is posted on Firefly. So anything that's posted on Firefly has been assessed by a teacher as safe content. So access it, it should be safe and it should be reliable and all the information on there has been checked by your teacher or someone working at the school. Also, you can consult a parent or parents for advice as to what you can access. So if you're not sure, 
if you're at home and if you're not sure if a website is reliable, have a chat with them. Mum, Dad, is this acceptable? And they couldn't always get back to you and say, yes, this is fine, or maybe this isn't fine, maybe try a different website. So these three sources can provide us with reliable information. So we're going to try this activity again. The only difference is we're going to be using the Omnibox to look up information on ancient Egypt. This is a unit that will be studied later in year three, but it's a good idea to get a head start as to how to look up information on Google specifically about ancient Egypt. So once again, I'd like you to pause this video, then I'd like you to open a new tab, click on the Omnibox, and then search for a question on Google. And here are some examples about questions you can look up on Egypt. So where is Egypt? How did the ancient Egyptians travel? And how were the pyramids built? So these are some questions that you might want to ask Google about ancient Egypt. If you ask these questions, maybe you can find some other questions about ancient Egypt that you can share with the rest of the class. We will be sharing the uh, these findings with the rest of the class shortly. So do collate as much information as possible. <coughs> so if you have are observing this part of the video, you have completed the the exercise, which is to look up information on ancient Egypt using the Omnibox on the Google Chrome web browser. We're just going to summarize the entirety of this video here. You can search for anything on Google and you can even ask Google a question. Google organizes web pages into a search index, which we said is very much like a library, which is organizing web pages into a, a, you know, categories. You can look up information using the Omnibox on the Google Chrome web browser or the search bar. And we can also stay safe on Google by making sure that the safe search option is switched on. We're accessing trusted content only. And if anything online makes us feel uncomfortable, we report it to a trusted adult. And remember, a trusted adult is, you know, anyone in school, a member of staff, or outside of school you can talk to a parent and we can look for reliable information on the internet by making sure that we have sought official sources such as the government and the police we can also consult our school and our teachers so members of staff will always post reliable information and finally we can speak to our parents when it comes to when we're seeking reliable information on google search Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.